In this screencast, we're going to look at how to cite a subscription database that was originally written for a print source. So I'm going to be citing this article. I know it's a subscription database because I went to the DMS library, went to my database tabs. In this case, I went to periodicals and I used the Boston Globe subscription database. Now, when I look at this article, I know that it wasn't written just for the database. Before it was put up on this database, it existed in another form. And in this case, it existed as a newspaper article. I know that because it's telling me right here the newspaper that it came from. So when I go to EasyBib and I log in, because if I don't log in, it won't save my information, and I sign in with Google, if I need to create a new folder, I will do that. Otherwise, I'll click on bibliography that takes me in to my, the folder I want to add it to. I go to my database tab. And this time, when it's asking me what kind of database article I'm citing, I'm not going to say that it was originally written by the database, because that's not the case. I'm going to say it was a newspaper article, because that's what it was first. It's a newspaper article I'm now reading on the database. So online database, newspaper article. Now I have to pull out my information. The title of my article is right here. I will put that in. My author. Okay, here is my author. And because there's a comma, I know that it's presenting the last name first and then the first name. So the first name is... Dee Dee, last name, Wilson. And if I had more than one author, I could just add another contributor. My newspaper title, I know, is Boston Globe. City. Now it says only include if the city is not in the newspaper name, which in this case it is, so I'm going to skip that. Edition and section. So let's see if I have this. Edition would be if it said something like early edition, late edition, special edition, which I don't see, but I do have a section number, which is G. So I will put in that. My day, month, year of publication, right here, April 23rd, 2014. Pages. Let me take a look. Here's my page number. So it's just a single page. So I just put in 10 and that's it. Location. So where was the database that you were using? So I'm going to put Dedham Middle School in Dedham. All right. That's the location of the library where I access my database. The database's name. Okay. This can be a little confusing because I don't want to confuse the name of the database with the publisher of the database. And if I'm not sure, I can always go back to the DMS library homepage. What did I click on? It was called Boston Globe. That is the name of the database. So Boston Globe, and then the service, all right, who published this database? ProQuest. I'm going to leave this on URL, don't worry about the search type, and then finally the URL. So this is pretty long and it's not really useful because if someone doesn't have a subscription, they're not going to be able to get to this article anyway. So I'm just going to take the base URL, which would allow someone to get to the homepage and then if they have a subscription, they could get into it. Okay, so that's everything I need. I will create my citation. And there is my citation for my subscription database article that was originally in print.